Scientists say that the record temperatures in Europe over the last few weeks would not have been possible without man-made climate change. A global team that included experts from Imperial College London and the Met Office have been running complex weather models since then to establish the extent to which greenhouse gas emissions made the heat wave worse. Here's our climate correspondent, Jonah Fisher. The hot weather of early last week was unprecedented, with high temperatures recorded across much of the UK. 40 degrees Celsius was felt here for the very first time. Our transport network creaked and the heat combined with dry weather to lower water levels and create conditions for fires to spread. For a long time it's been clear that global warming makes heat waves more frequent and more intense. But in recent years there have been big advances in climate modelling, which means scientists are able to look at what's behind specific weather events, like last week's extremely hot few days. Having these temperatures is still... Climatologists, including experts from Imperial College London and the Met Office, have been working round the clock, looking at whether human actions made last week's heat wave worse. We would not have had last week's temperatures without climate change, that's for sure. So these temperatures uh, are at least two degrees higher than they would have been without climate change, but much likely that the real number is closer to what we see in the, in the observations, which is about four degrees. So climate change absolutely played a really, really big role. That's with the world warming by 1.1 degree, with global greenhouse gas emissions yet to start falling, even hotter weather and more heat waves look inevitable. The implications are um, that if we want to keep um, a heat wave like this a rare event, we really have to get to net zero greenhouse gas emissions very soon. The current goal is net zero emissions by 2050. To reach it, we're going to have to stop using fossil fuels to run our cars, warm our homes and generate electricity. Jonah Fisher, BBC News.